As Africa's longest serving leader, Omar Bongo's life and death has put a spotlight on other heads of state on the continent who are clinging to power despite a need for democracy in their nations. My colleague Porondiho has more. The death of Gabon's president, Omar Bongo, after more than four decades in power, means the mantle of Africa's longest serving leader falls to Libya's president, Mama Gaddafi. Gaddafi took power in 1969 in a coup against King Idris I. An international outcast for years, the 67-year-old Gaddafi has taken steps to improve relations with the West, such as uh, in 2003 when Libya gave up its banned weapons programs. President Gaddafi is the current chairman of African Union. Angolan President Jos Eduardo dos Santos, aged 66, assumed the presidency in 1979, four years into civil war with the UNITA rebels that ended in 2002. President dos Santos has been in power for 30 years and is widely expected to win the country's first post-war presidential elections, scheduled for 2009. President Denis Sassou the Republic of Congo is also 66 years old. He seized power in 1979 but lost in the country's first multi-party elections in 1992 to scientist Pascal Lisuba. Ngweso regained the presidency in 1997 after a civil war and was re-elected in 2004 for another seven-year term. President Taudol Ngema of Equatorial Guinea disposed his uncle Mathias in 1979 in a violent coup supported by 600 mercenaries from Morocco. Obiang is now 67 years old and Equatorial Guinea is essentially a single party state and the constitution grants Obiang wide powers, including the power to rule by decree. President of Zimbabwe, Robert Mugabe, 85 years old, has been at the head of his government since 1980 as prime minister and later as president. He rose to prominence in the 70s when he led the Zimbabwe African National Union in a guerrilla warfare against the white dominated government of Rhodesia. President Mugabe has held on to power despite a deep financial crisis that has disseminated his country. Earlier this year, Mugabe's party formed a unity government with Prime Minister Morgan Changarai's MDC after months of wrangling. The 81-year-old Egyptian president, Hassan Mubarak, has been president of Egypt since 1981. He was first appointed as vice president and later ascended to the presidency, succeeding President Anwar Sadat. Mubarak has been re-elected in 1987, 1993, 1999, and was sworn in as president in 2005 for a fifth six-year term. Cameroon's president, Paul Bia, first became prime minister in 1975 and later became president in 1982, after the resignation of President Ahmadou Ahadiju. In April 2008, Bia signed into law a bill removing a two-term presidential limit, allowing the 67-year-old possibly to extend his 25-year rule and stand for re-election in 2011. Ugandan President Yori Museveni, 65 years old, took power in 1986 when he seized Kampala after a five-year guerrilla war. Museveni said then it would be ill-advised for an African head of state to be in power for more than 10 years. 23 years later, Museveni is still president. Uganda's parliament abolished a constitutional limit on presidential terms in 2005 paving the way for Mr. Museveni to win a third term in 2006. He is widely expected to win a re-election in 2011. King Muswati III of Swaziland is 41 and he is Sub-Saharan Africa's last absolute monarch. He was crowned in April 1987. Political parties have been banned in Swaziland since 1973. The king introduced a new constitution in 2006, but the ban on political parties remains. And finally, 72-year-old President Zin Albadin Ben Ali of Tunisia came into power in 1987. 
He crushed an Islamic fundamentalist opposition and has overseen successful economic reforms in the North African country. Paul Ndiho, VOA News. Thank you so much, uh, Paul, for that.